Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and we are looking at a new From the Depths. Um, basically, uh, the patch, big patch 1.6, or you can see 1.606 is now out for in alpha. And it has brought in a few changes. Um, I won't go through all of them, but the biggest change is the campaign map. The campaign map, map is now uh, different, dynamic, and a lot of changes. This also means our previous campaign is now invalid. <laughs> so we've got to start again. That's not a bad thing. Um, what we're going to do, or what I am going to do, is I'm going to um, bring in the ships we've made previously and see how they perform in the new campaign and maybe we'll have to do some changes um, for this. But without further ado, let's go and look at this new campaign. Okay, so here we are at the new campaign uh, selector. Uh, there's a few differences. We can load in different planets, so it's now based upon the planet you're on. Now, Neto is the basic pl planet, which we will go through, that most people will have. Um, and it is the most you know, primary game where we were before. Uh, which is possible for now community people to create their own planets with totally different factions, totally different ships. Uh, once some good ones have been brought out, I, I'm, I need to wait for the creators in the forums and in the community to build some good planets um, before I jump into them um, and also to get the balance right. But we'll have a look at that maybe separately and do a campaign on one of the better ones once there's been some uh, work on that. For the moment we'll stick with the basic one which is um, you know uh, what everyone is going to get if they get this game. So let's just go through our system. Um, let's see so enemy growth factor uh, one so that's that's fine um, we'll leave that as normal right max uh, block spawn now previously I set this to a really um, uh, high value um, somewhere up, up really up this end so I think what we're gonna do this time is leave it at the standard 20,000 I think I put it up to 40 or 60 that's something high Right, um, resources given. Now, um, we're not doing, I'm going to reduce the amount of resources we get from combat. Um, so it's half of what is normally. Normally, you get a 10% of everything you destroy. I'm going to make that 5%. So, let's, um, and also, oh, and this is a good one. These can be re-edited later on in the campaign. Oh, that's a, that's a nice new uh, addition, I think, to this. So, Without further ado, we shall start the new Atlantean campaign. So, here we are at our new starter fort. Let's have a look around what's happening here. Oh, it's given us a nice radar dome at the beginning. Uh, the good old starter, starter ship and this um, starter fort, which isn't necessarily that um, efficient, especially with all the metal. So we most probably do the same as we did previously and, and start off um, pulling over one of our own ships. So let's just see how much resources we've got here. Um, 20, 40, 21. Okay, that's fine. And just a little bit of, of um, crystal. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do whilst we're just examining things is going to build mode is build quickly build some crystal generators because crystal will be the biggest problem um, at the beginning so let's do that and get those whilst we're just examining things let's just get some crystal growing we're going to take this all back in a minute anyway so it's not a problem let's go down a bit Put us into the water, reduce our energy, there we go. Okay, so we've got some crystal and the crystal should be growing soon. Yes, crystal's growing. Okay, so let's have a look at the map. Turn power here, into the map. So this is now different. You can see there's a different island up the top and to the sides. Hmm, 
Um, let's have a look. Some of the names, they've got colours now. Um, some of these areas. Now I don't know whether this signifies different locations of the different factions. Now we've got a green here. Let's, has, let's, let's have a look, see if the faction has changed. Um, oh, this is a little slightly different. We're seeing mine and they've, they've simplified this up a little bit, uh, which is good. They've um, uh, reduced the double um, sided part of uh, the faction area. That's very nice, actually. I like that. Um, it's a lot easier to find where everything is. Hmm, interesting. Good. Uh, victory conditions. Um, destroy all factions. Okay, we're at that. So it looks like we've got various um, victory conditions on various ones. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. Failure back. Okay, so that's obviously for custom. You can set particular victory conditions on the custom maps. Okay, so it looks like uh, my my players not written as and all the others are looks like the same factions. Okay, excellent. Um, what we will now look is um, so uh, also one other bit is. Um, uh, sea depths this is going to be important for us the, the the sea now has contours and underwater features uh it can also go a lot deeper i believe so um this is to be interesting for our subs we're going to have to adapt them so that uh they don't go running into these underwater obstacles like this one here there's a great big obstacle here you know, our subs could use this to go through. We're going to have to make sure they can navigate underwater. Um, I like this. This could be very interesting in some places. Some of our bottom huggers might go too low and be, be unable to fire or crash into underwater obstacles. So this could be an interesting um, issue. Uh, right, what we're now going to do is see what we can do to build ourselves a new basic starting fort. Basically, uh, scrap all of this building and start with a brand new building. Um, we will go into our little, uh, where's our little um, starter fort? Starter area, starter raft, that's the right word. go excellent now what we need to do is build a scrapper um, let's, let's just go into there there we go we need to build a scrapper and a new builder so we're going to here miscellaneous scrapper just turn it the right way to the back there we go and we'll need to build a spawner as well so first of all let us, and we will also need a repair tentacle or two. We just put a normal repair tentacle in there. There we go. So, first of all, let's see how expensive it's going to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, to bring in. Okay, this interface doesn't seem to have changed as much as I would like okay no, never mind can't have everything now we've already run out of almost run out of crystal we've been at six crystal that's fine right um, so our starting fort uh, the Atlantis the basic Atlantis is see it's a lot of crystal 1500 crystal so we won't be able to have that as a starting base how about one of our pontoons 130 crystal potentially um, so we could start with one of our pontoons as a, as a starting point or we can go for one of our where's where's one of our uh, very first basic and we'll upgrade it later yes uh, where are we um, resource fort there we go, 625, that's still a lot of um, items.
Okay, so we've either got to go with what we've got, or I have to. It's the only problem with we've, we've over. I've overwritten the earlier starting um, thoughts, uh, so they're no longer um, available effectively for uh, use like we used to have. Uh, so, so starter thought. This starter thought was still okay. So we have to go with starter thought. This basic starter thought. I think that will be 2143 and then we will modify it to the Atlantean Atlantis once we've got some elements up. So let's see. First stage, we will scrap the starting fortress and take all of its materials. Thank you very much. Scrap and turn repairs off. Was it all destroy it completely? We have all the resources, so we have 43, 23, and 98. So now we can look at pulling in the starter fort. Uh, we're going to pull it in plenty far away, hold it um, until 99%, or I say let go. Okay, start a fort. Load start a fort. So I should start building here. Now this was our, our very first fort that we then built up to be the Atlantis later on. Um, so we will just start it off and let this build. So I will, this might take a little while to build. So um, it's time for a little time lapse. Hello and welcome back. So um, that was the basic starter fort being built um, with our basics, very similar to the very first Atlantis. Not very efficient, um, lots of little problems with this, but it works for the moment and is bringing us in some resources. Uh, one big glaring here, we have no radar dish on here. Hmm, okay, that's uh, uh, a, a first immediate issue in that we have no visible oops, what's going on here we have no visible range of our areas uh, that's a bit of a problem there we go we can see this but now we've lost sight of everything um, I'm not gonna really change that I think what we can do is bring in one of our recon balloons and just use them in this area because they were an efficient little recon um, system for us so um, we won't change our little guy we'll put him in in the fort thank you right so we'll we're going to um, despawn the uh, starter rib we'll just check to make sure everything we've got everything else in place everything else is in place we have our crystal being created which is good 
Um, yep. And we have some, uh, when it was being built, it went a bit groovy. Hopefully if you saw the uh, video, you'll notice it went all over the place at one point. Um, that is sometimes if it's a little too close when it's building it, the origin point is closer to the building uh, item. They join together and then they, the physics goes weird. Uh, there is a couple of ways around that. Um, I wish one of it would be I could make that further than 30 meters away, but we're not going to bemoan anything on there. So first of all, let's just scrap this starter rib, because we don't need that anymore. Scrapped and destroyed, thank you. Then we're going to bring in um, one of our recon balloons. Where's a recon balloon? I think that's, let's find... Um, uh, it's in here, it's in one of my standard structures. Recon Balloon 2. Have we got? We haven't got enough crystal for that. 175. How about that? 115. So we can go with that version 3 once we have 115 crystal. How much have we got? 95. Okay, so that's a. Uh, a little problem straight at the way, uh, crystal amounts. Mm, okay, they'll have to just wait a minute for that to build up, unless these are worth crystal, and I can take them back. Um, we've got scrap being created, we have metal. Uh, let's just check what this resource zone is like. Whoops, we have to hover over here, and we can see that uh, natural, we're, we're scrapping it for all the natural and metal and oil, uh, we've got a lot more oil available th in theory here. We could put some more oil producers, although oil isn't of much use. What we mainly need is uh, crystal, which is none of um, scrap. We could get rid of the scrappers, actually. Yeah, I don't like the scrappers. Looking at this here, the growth factor of the scrappers is equal to the metal. So, I, And I know that all my ships are somewhat metal hungry. So I think we'll get rid of the scrap metal producers for the moment and instead produce another crystal over the opposite side instead, I think, because crystal is definitely something we are need and is uh, needs to be produced. Uh, about the same height, yes, yeah, the same height, same position. Good, good, good. Right, so obviously this isn't undefended, but uh, we know that already. Now we could have enemies heading this way, so we need to get the recon balloon up and some way of defending ourselves. So we're already at 118, which is good. I'm gonna let it get a little higher. I don't want to immediately uh, start producing that. Let's come off build mode there for a second. Whoops, camera's a bit fast. Okay, right, so. What we can build is obviously this uh, basic recon balloon and then maybe one of the basic Atlantean ships we've got. We've got a turtle, was one of my uh, smallest cheap ships. Wasn't great, but I think we'll give that a go. And that'll be our defensive ship. So we'll start that one um, straight away. So we're gonna build it up to 99%. Um, Hold it for at least 60 seconds. There we go on. And build it a good 30 meters away. Right, so we'll load the turtle first. Hello and welcome back. Um, we have sorted out the recon balloon and uh, got it up to a nice height um, above us. And now we just bring it in. So that's quite happily circling above us at the moment, um, doing its thing, uh, somewhat chaotically, but it's still doing its job. And the little turtle fleet is also sorting itself out. Um, so we now have a nice area for our, um, from the recon balloons, this was the level one, so it's, it's, it's good enough for the moment. We'll upgrade it when we've got some more resources. Our little turtle fleets are sorting themselves out with their basic little little uh, ships. Now we're a little short on crystal at the moment. Our, um, our growth, growth base, growth farm is working. 
um, but it's going to take a little while for it to really get back into uh, situation. So what we need to do, first of all, my plan, we'll take the Atlantis out of play as well, is we're going to send our little turtle fleet. We'll take them out of play. Thank you. We'll just sort out their um, order. So that might be a good little formation for them for a starting point because considering their torpedoes and everything oh we didn't change the torpedoes on that second ship so we'll quickly do that for i uh, take him into combat i think whoops there there you go so we want two infrared and two sonar oh no that one is okay so that one's okay So, it must be the other one. This one, let's have a look at you. Have you had your torpedoes changed? No, you haven't. So we'll change you to be one infrared on each side and one sonar on each side. Okay, excellent. We might actually save, let's just save that in case I, I want any uh, uh, more of these in the future. Now uh, we'll save it over the PT turtle. There we go. Right, resume. Thank you very much. Right. What we will now do, we'll take them out of play again. And we're going to send them on a little exploration into this level five. So our first little exploration into the enemy territory. See what we're up against. See if anything else has changed for those ships as well. So we'll just speed up time on this, get there a little quicker on the map. And so we'll see how our little turtles do in this new campaign. See what they see and see what they can do. And we've got some forces coming in. So there we have, we've got um, force count four. Mm. Strength five, okay. So I'm hoping, what have we got is our, it looks like it's a sea adder, two sea adders and a vanguard and a hop hoplite, okay. Some new ships here then. Um, this could be interesting. So we will we'll, um, put ourselves on one of the turtles. Warp to that force, there we go, and come Ooh, a hoplite looks like it's a, a flying ship. Ooh, this could be um, interesting since I've got no uh, anti-air defences. Oh, fun. Okay, are we in com combat range? Yes, we are. So let's go down to those forces. Um, we shall, where's our two forces here? We'll let them just do their thing and we will uh, see what comes in when we spawn we'll just do a whole uh, whole fleet spawn so that's the fleet Ooh, that's interesting you spit that's interesting i like that so the hopper light is oh a little no no come on get me closer get me closer come on. That's, that's, that's the hopper light no it's still giving me that is there is there a way of doing that i want i want you i want you please 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 let me 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 no no uh, for whatever reason i can't do the, the v on the hoplite what else have we got down here this is this is the sea adder i think from mem memory yeah sea adder so that's got a couple of little mine throwers at the front and our torpedoes are already coming in that's excellent okay our torpedoes have done well on both ships oh that's interesting. You can see when I hover over it, it shows AI dead. Three seconds, two, one, zero. And it disintegrated. That's nice. So AI dead in one second. It tells me when it's gonna disintegrate. Very nice. I like that. So now here, no, this is still, I still can't get this. Do I have to be almost inside it? Finally, Hopolite. 
So this has got a couple of little mines and a harpoon gun by the looks of it. Have my my ships any way to uh, attack it? Um, they could theoretically use their cannons, but the cannons only shoot forwards. I think we're a little impasse here because my ships will not attack airships. Booger. That's a little... Um, um, didn't think about that. And one of mine has just got taken out by these bloody mines. Um, hmm, that's interesting. So, ouch. Ouch, you bugger. Just, just ouch. Okay, we're going to need to do some um, quick reworking. Um, what can we do to, about this quickly? Um, I think we need to put a very quick load of sub job sub object a very simple turret maybe one of my auto cannons on a 360 precision facing backwards and then just put a quick whoops have I got enough have I not got enough to do this where's my no no that's not the no not gonna work that's not gonna work that's that's not working Let's get those resources back. That was a, obviously a, a incorrect move. But interestingly, my front gun is now actually firing. So let's just get back on that ship. Where are we? Uh, this one here will... Oh, I seem to be still on that. That is the ship I'm on. No, no, where am I? Where am I? Little confusing at the moment. I'm getting... Um, confused as to which ship I'm on and I can't find the warp to ship there's my warp to ship option for my my player hmm interesting and I'm not having that ability anymore for some reason so let's go up and over to this vehicle here so at least I could start repairing it and then if we go and look at this one, see what it's doing. Okay, so it did actually start firing through the bottom of the ship. Um, that was unexpected. So what we can do though is take it out. And I think we're gonna have to retreat with both of these, uh, these ones. Ooh, battle finished. So, let's see what happened. That was not successful for us. We have retreat. Oh, now, the retreat has left us here. So it's taken us out of battle, but it hasn't like thrown us halfway across the map as it used to in, in, in previously, um, which is good. But we are still in battle, so our, our fleet is a bit stuck here. So we've got to find a way of go back to the Atlantis we've got to find a ship which can take on this flying hoplite so if I bring on back the Atlantis and bring that back into play hmm okay so that's not we'll put ourselves back in this seat for the moment thank you right we'll bring our altitude down because it likes to go up high whenever it starts So we've got to go and rescue our fleet, effectively, with something which can attack in here. Now, we either build another turtle and then change it a little bit, or what else have we got that's, that's potentially can take out an aircraft? Now, flying rays are too much at this moment, although it's potential. 1524. I think we don't have 1524. No, we don't have the metal for that at the moment, but it's, it is a, a potential possibility. A uh, lot of metal needed for that and also a lot of crystal. What else have we got that could theoretically go against that? Um, I do have 
the Sea Eagle, which is a an alternative flying craft, which I hadn't brought in before. Don't know how effective it will be, but we might be able to afford that. So that's 125. So 11, 16, 2, 6. 11, 16, 2, 6. Uh, 11, 16, 2, 6. And, ooh, yeah, we might be able to bring in the Sea Eagle. Hmm, okay, because this does have... The other one is the Skate Ray. The original Skate Rays we had did have hybrid torpedoes, which means they could uh, shoot against it. But let's try the Sea Eagle. Sea Eagle is my... Um, it's a standard sort of plane, um, which I had built. What's the other ships I've got? See, a lot of my subs have no air-to-air -air ability. That is why originally we, we built the Seagull Hunter, which um, we could still go for, but takes a lot of metal, 27,000 metal. And I don't think we've got that amount of metal available. Let's see. We're close to it. So, um... Potentially, maybe we should just wait for the metal to go up. Um, anything else that is, it's relatively short of? 230 crystal. We're just about there. So, okay, let me just let the uh, metal increase. And then we will produce possibly the seagull sub it'll be the first sub to be used in this new uh, campaign so see you in a short while and welcome back now i we now have enough resources hopefully to start the seagull hunter so we will be producing our first sub of this um campaign so twenty-seven thousand. hopefully it doesn't suddenly acquire any more but we'll go for it because it's a sub and uh, why not? So there we go, that's starting to build. So um, let's just um, quickly come back when that start, that's built. Actually, no, let's um, speed up the building now. I think we've got enough um, to be able to put in a few more tentacles. So let's put some more repair tentacles here. We'll go for the, uh, is there any difference here? Yeah, they're, they're cheaper, so they're, they're cheaper. Let's put some of those. That goes a bit weird every time you come back. Let's put some more of these in. Uh, that's there. We'll go up to there. About there, that, about that much. That should build this in no time at all, hopefully. So that's, that's plenty of tentacles now. In actual fact, let's, we'll OD the uh, tentacles. We've got plenty of crystal at the moment. Uh, I think building nice and quickly when we need a ship is important. I can always get them back if I say, yes, look at that. Building potential. Much better. So we have a Seagull Hunter back. Um, now, one thing I need to make sure is it doesn't actually go too far into the sea. That's uh, with this new terrain. I'm going to have to put myself on that ship. We're going to take it out of the fleet and walk to the chair. Uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on this now for the, at the beginning because I can't remember if it's just set to go straight down to the bottom. If so, that could be actually too deep. We might actually want to have some way of saying, OK, maximum depth. So let's see how, how deep this goes. It's down to minus 30. 35. And it's still going. It's still going down. We've also got the problem of what if you go too deep? Is there a catastrophic failure if your deep depth is too, too far down? Again don't know that one that could be an interesting one to test at some point all right we are still going down at 55 the other issue obviously is with our injectors um, if we go too far down our missiles won't eject up so I'm gonna set a maximum let's, let's go into build mode here 
we will quickly need to adjust this. We need to find where our control area is. Here we are. Right, is there a free... Right, uh, we need to set the hydrofoils. Actually, when altitude less than 40. Okay, that looks like the, the one we can change. So if the altitude goes less than... Let's set this down at um, not too deep. So we'll say 50. Then hydrofoils um, should have an angle of 45. There we go. So that should make it try and go up again. Um, now we need that to happen immediately. Because at the moment it's still not going up. It's down to 85 meters. So we need to have no delay on that. Whoops, no delay, no delay, no delay. There we go. Okay, now it's it, got to make sure to see if there's another one that's just fighting against it, saying, keep going down. All right, so this one we need a delay of... Um, so this one, as soon as it gets to 45, it will try and down. So we need to set this one to 40. So 45, and we set the other one to 46. Yeah. So that means this will try to minus 46. We'll try to keep it at around that 46 level, hopefully. So what is this? What are these hold your foils doing? They're still mainly pointing downwards. Now we have this here, which is our um, target avoidance, which is fine. Okay, but they're still tending to go downwards. So is there another hydrofoil somewhere? Air pumps? No. Um, activated when out of greater. Yeah, yeah, that's no. Uh, ah, uh, when less than 48 air pumps set to one, that should be trying to pull us back up again, which is cool. Um, all right, we need to set that to one as well. So. So that needs to be uh, the less. So that's a let's set that to two. Yeah, they need to set. And obviously, we've got quite a complex system here, which I think is possibly overly complex. But so that's our minimum is going to be there. So we're going to keep us around that point. Let's see if that's made it work. What altitude we're at? We're at minus forty-six. That's okay. We seem to be at a good altitude there. That's not, not problematical. That should still allow us. So we're going to have to adjust our ships. Let's save this now. Save the constructible. Save the Sea Hunter. Seagull Hunter. I think it's now ready to come out of build mode. It's now ready to go and help that other force. So if we come out, take it out of play, take Atlantis out of play, take the Seagull out of play, go to the map. Find our seagull. No. There we go. And say, go and rescue these guys. Go and help them. Go into uh, level 10. So make sure it, it does avoid this um, land. And no, that's, that's a bad thing. We need the submarine. If you're below the ground, you need some... Uh, Parthing to make your ship avoid these land areas. Otherwise, you know, we don't have fights on the, uh, you know, starting on the ground all the time, which is not going to be good at all. That won't work. That's just going to be that would be poor um, if they don't have some sort of parthing around sea obstacles. Okay, uh, back to normal. Now we'll put ourselves. Uh, on the seagull. There we go. And we will now see if it can rescue the Nice little starter. It's done that again, which is cool. So we've got a seagull hunter. Is it going to start to fire? Let's make sure everything's on. I'm not controlling weapons. Cool. Missiles are out. That's good. Missiles are firing. Go on, go on, reach them, reach them. Oh, no, 
and oh, just short. Oh, two of the lot. Two of them did. Two damage. Ten seconds. Oh yes. See, I like that. That's not a bad little extra. You can see what's happening. That's, that's a very nice little graphic. I, um, there we go. Battle finished. Okay. Overall, I like that. I should have done my interface off, but never mind. Right. So now we'll bring our seagull over to here. Um, over with the turtles, wherever they're going to. There we go. We'll actually bring these two together, I think. We'll bring this. No, we'll, we'll, this, the seagull is our start of our aquanaut fleet. Right, we'll bring the turtles back into play so actually they can heal each other. Excellent, they're giving each other a little bit of heal, and hopefully, where's our little sub? Our sub didn't take any damage there, I'm pretty sure. Where's he gone to? He's over here. Hello, Mr. Subby. So, okay, that's quite good. He's going at about a minus 46. Okay, like that. We will have to do some investigations about how, I think that may be in the next video, on the lab is how deep can you go and also with the missiles for injectors how many injectors is needed to get you get your ship to get your missile firing out of the water so i, I think that that's a, a, a little combined lab coming up but we'll do that next video so at this moment i'm actually going to leave it there this is the first little test of the new lab uh, and, and the new version uh, with this new s underwater terrain and some very very deep oceans um, I don't know if there's a limit to the depth or not um, we might have to investigate and see how how deep these oceans go with some uh, some sort of ship that sounds interesting definitely the aquanauts and the and the sub fleets are gonna be in it will be interesting if um some of the enemy have subs that could uh be difficult for it with sub to sub co um uh combat so there's loads of little things here i've got little questions about um, how this is going to work on the campaign so i'm going to let these repair up but and uh, ready for the next campaign and we will, on the next, take over this resource point, which is just ahead of us, on the next um, time we're in the campaign. Um, although I may, as I say, I may do a little lab just to do some experimentation. Um, hope you liked this video. Please click the like button. Um, if you want to hit, know when the next videos come up, please um, subs uh, subscribe. If you've got any comments or have some ideas as to um, a possibly a different direction for this campaign or if there's something you specifically want to see about this new version, uh, again, please let me know in the comments below. Um, until then, have fun.